Alright then folks, hello there and welcome back to some more SD Gundam's G Generations Cross Rays. Yes, that is not a mouthful. No, no, it is not. Anyway, in the last episode we finished up Well, the first level of Double OF, we can't do the second level, which at least this looks like the fight against the thrones where they tried to steal a solar reactor and the Gundam Zero, but you know. What's his face says no, Von Spock says no and then his the collar around his neck explodes because of Ada and some other stuff happens that's about where I stopped reading to be honest and I might read more by the time the story comes out or by the time the game comes out or not I haven't decided yet but um I did do a group dispatch though apparently these things come up when or I had left the dispatch screen open so when I had gotten into here I kind of had already agreed to it yeah, my bad. I meant to not, but I did. But I had sent out the Caliverse to collect all that kind of stuff. And they unlocked the space-type Tyrion to, to purchase. I really wish we just got a free one, and I was going to use it if we did. But we didn't. And also, everyone leveled up. So I was completely wrong. Apparently, you can't actually upgrade anyone. Which kind of sucks. Like, massively. I am very disappointed. Like, to the point where I actually considered just not playing anymore. But, I will play more. The game must go on. Also, Landman Rody, I want you now. Oops. Oh. Okay, so you actually need AV to do that, but... I want the Landman Rody. Also... The M1 ashtray. I always thought this was the blue frame, but this is just an ashtray that's been painted blue. And an all-type Tyrion. I mean, that is what it is. Not all that interested in that. In the Phoenix, sadly, we have to get to 5 to figure out what it can turn into. But we'll see it one day, but... Why? I want you so bad, Spinner Rody. Or Landman Rody. I want the spinner roadie too. But anyway. So I think we're finishing up Astray today. I think that's what I said we were doing. And then we'll do Gecko last. So this is the story of an ivory ashtray. Yeah, that's about it. All he does is collect ash and kind of be lame. Um, so Astray was a companion manga that came along with Seed. Which it explained a lot of the potholes of Seed. The thing that you know, Americans never got was the Seed manga came out about the same time as the episode did. It came out like two days later or something. And so you would read them together and it would make a lot more sense. That's why stuff like Kira just like blowing up and then showing up at the Reverend's Orphanage made no sense. Because the main character from Astray had saved him for reasons that I don't quite remember. But it's kind of lame. But the main character is Low Guile. He's basically superhuman by the second series, which is uh, X. And yeah, he pilots an Astray, but it's one of the prototype Astrays. And it carries around a mobile suit sized katana. Called the Tiger Edge, or something like that. Or the Gerbera Strait, that's what it was called. Tiger Edge is something else. Um. How the Gerbera Strait is designed is it can reflect bullets. No, I'm not kidding. But yeah, the other guy next to him is the uh, is Guy Melgora or something like that. He's the pilot of the blue frame. He's our enemy. Uh, Astray is also another one of the series where mercenaries are just straight evil. Like, you can't be a good mercenary, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what any of that is, but we will accept it. And between this and the next episode, I'll do another dispatch thing. If we unlock anything different, but I don't think we will. So basically, Bloody Valentine is the, uh, the Earth Federation nukes a colony. So some rebels drop that colony on the Earth. And it starts this giant war. They release uh, the Space Noids, or Zaft, release something called Neutron Generator Cancelers, which stop all, you know, power generation 
from working in various areas, except for deep out in the middle of the ocean. So they're able to generate energy, but they have to move it around in batteries. So most mobile suits run off batteries. The main characters happen to be scavengers who just scavenge whatever the fuck they can to sell and have got tons of mobile suits because of it. See, that would be a great job, except for none of the governments, uh, most in real life anyway. Oh. Most governments would prevent, you know, civilians from collecting the stuff they paid for and rebuilding to sell or give to the enemy, but they don't in this world, which is kind of nice. So we thought we were going to capitalize on this horrible tragedy and steal everything these people had worked their whole lives for. I treat it like a joke, but literally that's what they're doing. Yeah, so... So you know how four, or four Gundams got stolen and then there's the strike from Heliopolis? Well, apparently there was ten. No, they weren't Gundams. They're technically something else. Megan wrote, or Morgan wrote, the company from Orb that helped design the mobile suits was also building their own using combat data they collected from the tests on the Gundams, and they built the Astrays. They built a red frame, a blue frame, a green frame, a yellow frame, and I want to say a pink frame, but I think that's Power Rangers. Might have been a black frame, or a gold frame, or something like that. Yeah, these people just died horrible deaths, you know, being exposed to vacuum, having their lungs and organs erupt inside their bodies and bleeding out through their mouths and either drowning or choking them. It's not quite sure which. Or, you know, if they're lucky to just freeze to death instantly. If you think I was kidding about them going through people's houses and stealing all their prized possessions, I wasn't. They're literally grave robbers, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend he said lead and poo.
Good. You slap him in the face. He deserves that. It's a golden mobile suit arm? You think they blew up their own base, but they left all of the things they spent literally billions on researching inside? You're not wrong. Yeah. Every time I hear that or I see that written out, I always think of um, Crash Bandicoot. Though, then again, that's kind of topical these days, isn't it? Because the remake. Loved those games as I was a kid. But it's two asterisks a blue one and a red one. He was talking about the blue one, by the way, with the beam rifle. Well, I mean, there's two mobile suits there that are probably worth, like, a good portion of their yearly income. Plus, you know, it would triple their combat power and make them three times as expensive. Wait, Lowell's a, <laughs> Lowell's a natural? That means he can't pilot a mobile suit. Unless these were designed for mobile suit. Or for natural pilots. Except for... Kira had to design that one, remember? Remember? But hey, that's a... That's a gin. I I believe it's actually a high mobility gin even. That's why we keep six mega particle cannons built inside the ship so we can shoot the outside and they never see it coming. When they were saying mobile armor, I was expecting something bigger. Okay, so we have to destroy it with the beam rifle. It's a Mobius, except for it's not like the Mobius that... Uh, What's-his-face used? It's slightly worse. Okay, so we actually want to get two to four, so we want to get all the way up here. 
How much HP do you have? 7,500? Hmm. Ah, I know this is a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I expected, but I had to be sure. Aw. Okay, they both missed. I should have showed you their attack, my bad. Y you'll see it, though. Sadly, that means we can't melee him, because if we missed this attack, we would have meleeed him, but that's fine. Okay, so we only need to do this battle ten more times to get the blue frame. It's gonna ram you, and it's gonna damage the blue frame. Murakumo, that's what it was. Remember that they, the mercenaries too, had seen the suits. They were just asking to get killed. So, side note, you notice how no one ever addressed the yellow arm? You know that perfectly good one they found? That may or may not be connected to it. Say, a perfectly good mobile suit? Hey, we can get a gin. That's cool. We can't upgrade a gin, but... We could get one. That'd be cool. Sixteen. Or eleven. Damn it, guy.
Oh, there are anime. Uh, there is technically an anime with, with the blue frame and the red frame in it, but they're like five minutes long and kind of disappointing. But you can watch them if you want to. Um, yeah, so they just have six people. I'm guessing um, either Guy or Elijah needs to get three kills. Heavy machine gun, the recoilless rifle, buster sword. Sadly, it's not the cool buster sword, it's just the weird katana looking thing. And we'll melee with Guy if we get the chance. But I think that's all we can do. Okay, Guy has to kill at least four enemies. You have an attack? You only have junk throw. Ah, one too short. Damn. Alright. Damn it. Damn it. Mark, you had one job. We've gone over this before. One job. So I did that twofold reasons. We one we get the skill onto Logan for that. I don't know what the skill was. Marksman, great. In improving shooting is great. Oh. That's cool. So R1 gives it all, L1 takes it away. Somebody mentioned that in the comment and I wanted to try it out. The reason we did that, though? Fun, though, Itachi? Damn it, Logan. One job. Hey, you know what? Well, instead of complaining, you could have tried to get out. I'm gonna throw the I'm gonna move the home one up. I don't plan on using it, but it'd be cool if we could like lob rocks at someone or something. We'll see what that is one day. Oh. Oh yeah, it's these guys. You are really bad at dodging today.
And Mark gets auxiliary support plus 30. Completely useless, but I mean, why not? So since he's a... Since he's like a, a combat character or a pilot and not going to be in a ship at all, giving him that was a waste, but... I mean, like, I plan on playing the Steam version, so it doesn't really matter too much if I waste slots. <laughs> I have no idea if I can overwrite the skills or not. I'm assuming that's the case, but I don't have any proof one way or the other, so I have to be careful about it. Really? Really, dude? You disappoint me. You're gonna die here. I'm gonna laugh at you. And then I'll make a cake with your face on it. And then I'll, I'll eat all around your face, but I won't eat your face. Cause that'd be weird and I don't like you in that way. All right, so we need to have Guy move over to here. Shoot this guy, hopefully kill him. Come on, good critical. Ah, oh, no. Dang, whoops. And then going to move you to here to melee this guy. Oh, wait, I already showed you the melee. Oh, well. We'll watch it again. Okay, we didn't have to get one more kill with him. Good. Nah, it'll be fine, right? You wouldn't miss on me, would you? Wow, you actually didn't miss. Respect, man. I didn't have to be very disappointed at you. Enough to send you to the no-no zone. Alright, and I'm gonna move you up a little bit. Actually, you know what? Can we find Nurutachi from back there? Ah, uh, one short. It was a try. Ah, damn it. All right. All right, Renlo. I'm doing it this way for one really good reason. That's eh, fine. Did he headbutt him? He just headbutted a Mobius. Alright then. I was expecting more of like a punch to the face, but that works too. Oh, 
Oh no, they ambushed us. They got behind us. Okay, so the bonus we got for, you know, doing the mission as we were supposed to was more of the same. So, we're going to move you over to here. That's fine. Well, then I'm going to have you rock breaker this guy. Hopefully kill him. Level up to five. Hit R1 to, you know, automatically zoom past. Oh, it's a Hexa, or a Gilda. The frame is called the Hexa frame. The, there's, I think, Hilda and Gilda. They're both used by the Sandoval mercenaries in IBO, or in Season 2 of IBO. Uh, they're supposed to be light attack mobile suits. They're also recently used to clear up, like, large amounts of debris into scavenged debris piles. The brewers were kind of weird from Season 1 because they were scavenging in uh, roadies, which makes sense because roadies are the cheapest, but it's kind of weird because you don't really use a roadie for something like that, usually. Alright, and what do you have, Lol? Oh, you just have Beam Rifle and Beam Saber. Okay. So we'll load these two up back next round, move them forward. These guys will probably hit us at the end of the turn, which is fine. Um, we'll have every after we take out this guy, we'll have everyone group up here and move up towards these three. And we'll let the three in the middle come after us. Oh, they're not moving forward. Alright, works for me, I guess. You'll notice how the red frame and the blue frame already have their logos. Lowell was bored, so you know, he just kind of scribbled out the Home 1 logo on there. Alright. 
I mean, we can just use move all. Works for me. I, I'm still hoping that we can throw junk at people. I just want to see what it looks like. We haven't actually seen this attack yet. Wow, damn, right in the bridge. about what I expected, but still. Yeah, yeah, alert. Ah, uh, I can't throw junk at him. No! I wanted to throw junk. It would have been hilarious. So, first off, I want to throw junk at someone. <laughs> yes, what BS is this? Throwing that there junk at him. All right, so, um, are you close to leveling up? Or are you? Yeah, you are. You know what, though? I don't want him to get that. Um, he already has an ability, so I'll spread it out to her. I don't think she has one yet. Okay, so now she's slightly better at melee. I was expecting him not to die, but that works. Good job. Okay, so you go, yeah. Oh wait, we already saw those, didn't we? Should have been leveling, leveling her up. Oh well. Don't worry, we'll get there eventually. And if we don't get there now, we'll get there in, you know, when the real game comes out. Oh, that's cool.
I honestly forgot that was a thing. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, the spinner's in trouble. Slightly didn't die, damn it. All right. And back to the ship to you. Back to the ship for you. Um, Elias. Or friend low. Hmm. Yeah, I got it. God damn. <laughs> If we can, I'll have, uh, blow melee him. Okay, that works. God, raid groups heal a lot.
All right. Yeah, it's gonna take like what 13 kills to get the red frame or 14 probably Not looking forward to that to be honest He's wearing an Earth Federation jacket Yeah, it's like you'll fight like six times and then become best friends. And then you'll think one of you died and you won't have actually died. You'll come back like five chapters later wearing a mask. Yeah. Yeah, we got three dispatch items. So dispatch items just speed up the time they come back by, you know, 30 minutes or whatever. In the real game, probably super useful. The fact that I play this once a day, not an option. Not really not an option, just not really needed. So I'm going to set the raid group this time. There's only, you know, an 80% chance it'll succeed. But if, like, I wanted to throw these on, it would only be an hour. I'm gonna go do something very scummy, though. Both to ensure success and just so, you know... We can get them a little bit extra levels. See, blood, blood. Ah, oh, there you are, blood. So now with all of them in there, we're going to go to group dispatch, we're going to go here, we're going to dispatch them, now it's 100% chance of working, and if I wanted to I could go like, you know, five so they'd be done instantly, but I don't care. Yep, I don't have that and he keeps asking me for that and I don't know why. Yeah, they'll be back in two hours. But anyway, folks, that'll be the end of that. Like the episode if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. We'll be back tomorrow for more, where we'll you'll see what happens when you finish the raid dispatch. Then I'll add those units back into the main group. And then we'll go finally do Gecko. But anyway, folks, good night.